See, I'm going to explain the difference between sex influenced and sex limited trades. We shall come to know in this brief presentation that which characters are considered uh, as sex influenced characters and which are considered as sex limited characters. See, in the field of genetics, there is a chapter that is sex linked inheritance pattern. While studying that specific aspect, we mainly come to know about these three terms that is sex linked traits or sex influenced traits or sex limited traits. So sex linked traits are those traits whose deciding genes are situated on the X chromosome. We know that uh, uh, in those animals where sex determination is XX and XY, particularly in humans, you know, the males are the XY type and females are the XX types. So males are actually hemizygous. They have single X chromosome. And those genes which are situated on X chromosome, which do not have their homologous part on the Y chromosome, are considered as sex linked genes. And uh, such genes follow a specific pattern of inheritance that uh, definitely differs uh, when female is homozygous for a specific, you know, uh, allele enhancement. And if she is heterozygous, then the inheritance pattern would be different. So that is one aspect. And we uh, very well know the examples of hemophilia or uh, red-green color blindness or Duchenne muscular dystrophy. These are some of the examples of sex uh, linked characters. But we are mainly concerned here with sex influenced and sex limited traits. So let us have idea that what are these two. See the sex influenced traits are actually their expression means sex influenced traits their expression that is totally influenced by the specific sex. And we find that sex influenced traits are autosomal. It means genes deciding such features, such characters, they are situated on the autosomes. They are not sex linked at all. So this aspect must be very clear that sex influenced traits are autosomal in nature. But their expression will be sex dependent. So the character seems to act as a dominant one in one particular sex and a recessive in the other sex and sex influence traits may appear in both sexes but is expressed to a different degree in each sex. So we can understand all these things with the help of certain examples. See the examples of sex influence traits are male pattern baldness and length of index finger. The third example could be cited as presence of horns in sheep or muscle mass. Muscle mass means the uh, amount of muscles or density of muscles that vary between male and female individuals or humans. A stuttering, a stuttering in human male. So these are the examples. I am going to explain uh, some of them. See here in this table, what is being shown that there is an allele B plus that causes actually baldness. So it is situated on a specific autosome in humans and individuals with B plus B plus genotype, they are bald if they are male. So males are bald. Bald means they will have loss of total hairs uh, in a specific pattern, you can, we can call pattern baldness, means the frontal portion of their head may be lacking the presence of hairs. So such people are called bald. And females are also bald with this genotype, B plus, B plus. But see, the intensity of baldness will be more in case of male, whereas it will be quite less in case of females. Females have sparsely distributed hairs on their head portion. They are not as bald as the male individual. So we are observing that uh, same genotype 
causes baldness in both but again the intensity of baldness will be less in case of human female and if the genotype is b plus b that is if heterozygous condition is there then males are bald just like homozygous you know dominant one but females are non bald so here genotype is b plus b but this genotype is causing baldness in male but it is causing no baldness in case of female and genotypes is small b small b they are non bald in both the sexes so this is the actually sex influence trait that uh, there is influence of a particular sex for the expression of uh, a particular feature in the two sexes another example we can cite regarding this length of index and ring finger so see this is this one is thumb this is index finger this is middle finger this one is ring finger and this is little finger so in case of male individual see here in the left side suppose this is hand of a male individual so in this palm you see the presence of fingers generally in male individuals the index finger is shorter than the ring finger if you consider the genotype suppose capital a and small a means heterozygous condition is there so capital a small a individuals if they are male they will have shorter index finger and in its comparison the ring finger will be longer but with the same genotype in case of female what you will observe the index finger will be longer than the ring finger so this is a case of uh, sex influence trait that individuals have same genotype but they will be having varying phenotype in the two sexes now here is the example of uh, presence of horn in sheep in case of sheep you know just like baldness three different genotypes uh, may be possible due to presence of uh, a an allele which is causing the expression of horn so h plus h plus if this genotype is there then male individuals are horned and females are also horned male female they both show presence of horn but if the genotype is heterozygous that is h plus h then males are only horned whereas females are hornless and if the genotype is small h small h then males and females both are hornless so we find that same genotype is showing you know its expression in one sex but it is not being expressed in the other sex so this is considered as a sex influence trait we can also cite the example of stuttering you know stuttering which is also known as stammering it is a speech related disorder in which the normal flow of speech is disrupted by frequent repetition or prolongation of speech sounds we use the term uh, tutlana in hindi we find that mainly male individuals show stuttering females they are very clear in their voice they can articulate sentences very well and uh, uh, they are quite uh, frick means uh, fluent in their speech so females you will find very rare kind of female uh, showing stuttering but majority of males uh, means those who stutter they are mainly male individuals although when you will study this aspect in much detail you will consider that genotype and environment both play you know role in the uh, expression of this trait but genotype is definitely responsible for stuttering and we find that males they show this particular phenomenon more frequently than female population so stuttering is most commonly associated with involuntary sound repetition and also results hesitation or pausing before speech and this phenomenon you will mainly observe in male individuals then the next aspect is sex limited traits so there are certain characters which are always found only in one sex they are not found in other sex at all particularly the secondary sexual features secondary sexual characters are actually sex limited traits and uh, what we find that the 
chemistry of male and female that completely differs from each other mainly hormones hormones are limiting factors the male hormones uh, cause actually expression of certain features which are found only in male individuals whereas female hormones cause expression of totally different features in female individuals so hormones are mainly the limiting factors and that is why we use the term sex limited traits so it is hormone that actually limits the expression of trait only in one sex and the genes controlling such traits are present in both the sexes but they are expressed based on sex specific hormonal presence so this is important to know that uh, uh, the uh, secondary sexual features which are present in one sex could be expressed in the other sex also provided they are given the same environmental conditions so what we find in case of female it is estrogen which is mainly secreted and that causes actually a development of breast in them and uh, development of pubic hair growth in their case their uh, hips get widened so it is all under the effect of female hormone whereas in case of male the uh, male hormone is testosterone that actually causes the development of mustache or beard and body hairs and uh, they also develop better you know muscles in them so in case of man what we find uh, that secondary sexual features like mustache beard develop in them and uh, they have male piece to bias whereas in case of female the mammary glands are found and they show female piece to bias although as i just said that uh, the genes of causing the development of these features are found in both the sexes so if you inject a, fem- a female hormone in the child uh, a male child then you will find uh, that the male child will develop those secondary sexual features which are expected to be developed in case of female so this kind of thing uh, means we can understand that those traits which are always limited in one sex under the influence of a specific hormones are known as sex limited traits so hope that uh, the meaning of sex influenced characters and sex limited characters might have come clear to you people